My mindset's even different from my mom. I learned some things from my mom. I learned hard work. I learned savings before spending. Mm -hmm. Savings before spending. Most people want to spend before they save. So, you know, that was a, a valuable lesson for me. But I'm much more daring than my mom was. Her limiting capacity was education, culture, and you know, what her thoughts were at the time. And they were limited by education, her being illiterate. Me having the opportunity to educate myself and to read and learn and grow, but still having that mindset of a, I would say a warrior mentality is what I really have when you take away all the bullshit and the finessing of the way I really think. I've learned over the years to be palatable because I'm always running at top 10 speed and I always weed through the bullshit. Sometimes in a meeting, I hold myself back for saying you're absolutely full of shit or telling people I see right through your bullshit ass lies or telling you, you know, you talk a lot of shit but you ain't done the work or telling them what I absolutely honestly think of them. Now I've held back, I haven't become someone else at all. I still process the same way. But what I have done is to give people a little bit more grace. Because in the early part of my life when I had youthful inexperience, I would tell people exactly how I felt, whether it was going to cause a fight or whether it was going to hurt some feelings or whatever. But I never did so without looking internally first and checked myself. So. If you are a leader, part of the responsibility is that you want to help build people and not tear them down. And so I learned. I learned those skills as a parent. I learned it as a spouse. I learned it as a sibling. I learned it as a son. I learned constantly on how to be a better, more patient individual and how to empower other people. And that takes a lot of responsibility because I do go hard. I am opinionated, I'm judgmental. I'll tell you exactly what I feel. And thank goodness I've learned to get better as a leader, as a spokesperson, as a mentor, uh, in all the different roles that I play. So you might get the raw version of me but I might hold that back sometimes because I know if I go hard, I might break someone. And I'm not trying to break someone that cause them to be hard on themselves or anything like that. Because I do feel sometimes people are really vulnerable and they're like at their breaking point. And I would be less of a person if I pushed them over the edge. Sometimes you don't have the luxury to do that but other times there's no life and death situations in the fucking boardroom or in business where I can't give people that grace. There you go. So live and learn, but to live the best life, you have to learn every day. And with that, if you wanna follow me for more content like this, go ahead and take this thumb or this finger, whatever you use or however you use it, follow, subscribe, comment, and let me know how my material and how my content is hitting you in good ways. And if it pisses you off, ask yourself, how come I'm allowing him to piss me off? Did he just hit a nerve? Have I been thinking in this pattern? Because what I want to do is disrupt your patterns. Talk to you soon.